So you might be trying to figure out how you can take a blood oxygen measurement on your particular Apple Watch. Now doing this is very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. The very first thing you want to do is make sure you have an Apple Watch that supports this feature. Not every single one supports it, so keep that in mind. I don't think my Series 4 supports it, but the Series 6 does. So what you want to do is you want to make your way over into your Apple Watch library of applications, just like this. And you want to basically scroll down until you see this little application here. So it looks like, okay, not this one. It basically looks like a bunch of, you know, like two little circles kind of going around each other at a higher level. This is kind of what it looks like, like this. You want to find this particular application inside of here. So when you do that, it's going to come up into this thing. Now it's going to tell you a few things. It's going to say, here are some tips that can help you take you know, measurement. So what you want to do is you want to place it on your wrist and you want to go and click on next. Now when you do that, it's going to tell you to make sure your watch is you know, not too low. You want, to be, you want to follow these instructions to the T because it's going to give you a better measurement. And you want to click on next. And then it says, keep your watch you know, facing up and try not to move. Resting your you know, wrist on a table can help. So follow these particular instructions as we mentioned. You wanna click on done, and then you're going to come into this page. Now when you're here, what you wanna do is you wanna go and again, place it, don't hold it like that. You wanna have it on your wrist just like how my current watch is. You wanna have it like that. And you wanna follow the instructions that they just told you. And then when you're ready, you wanna click start. Now it's going to count down from 15, and then it's going to basically, you'll see these green lights start coming up. That's the, you know, the heart measurement things that it has built in. And then you want to give it a few more moments. And then what's going to happen is it's just going to load up as it normally would. And you're going to be basically good to go. So it's going to say, obviously, it's not successful because I'm not even using it. But then it'll give you your results from here and you can share them with whoever you want to. And that's basically how it works. Super basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.